Weyla at the top of the bill. But only a few hours before the fight was due, Rengifo was discovered to be nearly half a stone overweight. Well, there was no way he could fight, and the promoters prepared to cancel the show. And then up piped R. W. Smith of St. Ives in Huntingdonshire, a welterweight who was in the supporting cast on the bill. I'll fight Hunnigan, he said, and so he did, and saved the show. And this is how he did it from round one. Take it off. Hunnigan in the black shorts is Britain's newest European champion, the welterweight champion of Britain. And in the white shorts tonight, interesting opponent, R. W. Smith, the son of Andy Smith, the manager. R. W. Smith from St. Ives, who didn't know he was going to have this fight until about one o'clock today, because Hunnigan's original opponent, Hugo Rengifo from Venezuela, was a massive six and a half pounds over the stipulated weight and couldn't fight, couldn't be allowed to fight. And so Smith has moved up from somewhere down near the bottom of the bill up to the top. And here gets an extraordinary chance of making a big name for himself against the reigning European champion and former British champion, Lloyd Hunnigan. Hunnigan in the black trunks. Well, R.W. Smith, this is only his uh, 16th pro fight tonight. And he certainly hasn't boxed in this class before. And his father, Andy Smith, in the corner, will know full well that this is a big gamble they're taking. But if it were to come off and he were to score a win over Hunnigan, it would do young Mr. Smith's reputation a lot of good. And Hunnigan's no good at all. Hunnigan, 24 years old from Bermondsey. Smith is 22. Hunnigan now beginning to reap the benefits of a long apprenticeship in the professional game. He's given up the British title, having won the European title, and he won that title by going to Italy and knocking out his Italian opponent in the third round. Tremendous performance. He knocked out Gianfranco Rossi last month, and tonight is his first fight as the European champion. That's Hunnigan on the right. Smith grinning all over his face. Well, what an extraordinary day this is for Robert Smith, R.W. Smith from St. Ives, that's his father, with the water bottle. And uh, Smith, this morning, got up thinking that tonight at the Albert Hall he was going to fight Judas Clotty of Liverpool in one of the uh, bouts on the undercard. And then at one o'clock or thereabouts today learned that he was going in with the top of the bill man, Lloyd Hunnigan. Tremendous transformation suddenly, and a uh, very rare occurrence. So, what can Smith make of this golden opportunity? Take it off. Round two. Hunnigan in the black trunks. The European champion. He won the British title in 1983. He got two notches on the Lonsdale belt and then gave it up when he became European champion so as to concentrate on Europe and the world. One of the very few British boxers who've managed to go to Italy and come back with a European title. He beat the Italian Rossi with a combination of uh, a right hand and a following left hook. I think it was the right that caused most of the damage. And that's clearly the punch that Smith will need to watch out for here. Smith not finding too many chances to put his own punches across. He's too busy keeping out of the way of Hunnigan's. Or trying to. Smith already quite reddened around the cheeks and eyes. 
attack there by Hunnigan and that's the sort of thing that Smith's got to handle good right and towards the end of the second round Smith's beginning to look a fairly open target for Hunnigan's work Smith's gonna have to do a lot better than this if he's gonna get through ten rounds Two useful opening rounds from Hunnigan. Lloyd Hunnigan from Bermondsey. Yet another member of the Terry Lawless camp. There's Lawless on the left. And uh, Lawless uh, took a bit of stick from one or two people because he was uh, accused of holding Hunnigan back in the early part of his pro career. He's been a pro for four years now, but uh, it's all been proved to be correct because uh, he's taken his time with Hunnigan. Hunnigan's now had 21 pro fights and he's picked up both British and European titles. Second out, round three. Well, Smith needs to tighten his defences considerably against this man. Hannigan found it absolutely wide open to the head. Hunnigan is showing the greater variety of punches by a long way and producing a greater quantity of them. Hunnigan drawing him onto his punches. Smiles, but uh, I'm not sure I'd be smiling. He's either taking those. Well, the crowd liked his spirit at the end there. He came back at Hunnigan towards the, uh, the end there after taking one or two good punches. That's his father, Andy Smith, tending to him in the corner. Andy, of course, was the manager of Joe Bugner in Bugner's uh, great days as champion. And leaning through the ropes is another of Andy's ex-fighters, the famous Dave Boy Green, former British and European champion. Take it up. Round four. Don't let him work, Robert. One shot, it's not worth it. Jab with him, Robert. Jab with him. Go on, Robert. Go on, go on, go on. Hunnigan, a fast puncher with a lot of variety. Has been known to switch to southpaw occasionally, but he hasn't shown that yet. Let them go. 
the European welterweight championship that he holds of course was formerly in the hands of Colin Jones who gave it up to go hunting for the world title Hunnigan was a, an England amateur international in the late 1970s never won an ABA title strangely enough he was London ABA champion in 1979 only 18 then he was the youngest winner in those finals now he's 24 not look good at all to be beaten here by a man who's ranked well below you on the British scale. Hey. Oh, that was a good right hand. That was the one that always looked like being the danger punch. And Smith took it full-blooded, but he stood it. He stood to it. And he's coming back again at Hannigan. And the crowd loved that. Oh, that was a really good right hand from Hannigan. He's very quick with it. And Smith inside there getting what I suspect is a much needed rest. the right hand that won Hunnigan the European title last month in Italy and it was always likely to be the danger punch in this fight and we can show you it here very nearly spelled disaster there for Smith just watch this right hand come across oh, my word that was a perfect right hand to the side of the jaw and Smith did well not to go down Swelling coming up underneath Smith's left eye. is an experienced manager been in the game a very long time indeed and he must have had a lot of confidence in his son to put him in with Hunnigan who's never been beaten as a pro and has picked up British and European titles and to put him in when the boy was expecting a different fight altogether and I'm not sure Hunnigan was too wise there he went in to mix it with Smith and that suited Smith. Smith was quite prepared to fight back at him with two hands, and he is again. Smith knowing full well that this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Speck of blood now on Smith's face. Hannigan now gone back to more conventional boxing. He went in to trade it. 
trade punches with Smith and he didn't have it all his own way. And Smith gets a very big hand indeed as he goes back to Dad. And uh, this is, in its way, a fascinating little fight. Because here's a man brought in at the last moment. Several notches down the scale on the British rankings and uh, in with a chance of toppling the European champion. And it wasn't entirely in Hunnigan's favour here to open it up and start mixing it. But suddenly, Smith came back at him and then it was all different. Take it up. to open it up. Once again, Smith came back at him. Hunnigan looks altogether more in command when he keeps it at long range, keeps his boxing sharp and at a distance. So far, Smith has shown himself capable of taking Hunnigan's best punches. He still looks reasonably strong. Oh, what a good punch. And Hunnigan knew all about that one. Hunnigan very quickly come inside there and take a breather. That was a nasty shot for the European champion, I can tell you. after the bell. Well, Hannigan certainly didn't have it all his own way in that round earlier on, because here was a tremendous left hand. And now Roland Dakin has been called over to the Smith corner, and I think there's trouble there. And he's being pulled out by Andy Smith. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, Smith has been retired by his corner with a damaged right hand. Well, it's his right hand that's been damaged. The one they're getting the glove off now. There's no doubt at all that Hannigan was well in front at the end. No doubt whatever about that. But it's also true enough that Smith gave him, at times, a little bit of trouble. And it was a very, very brave attempt by Smith in a fight he didn't even know this morning he was going to have. Well, we've got R.W. Smith here now with Andy Smith. What's the trouble with the hand, uh, R.W.? Well, I had a lot of trouble a couple of years ago, and I've just seemed to have knocked it up again. It's like I must have caught Lloyd funny on top of the head. And uh, I don't think I had my fist closed, and when you don't do things properly, I'm afraid you hurt yourself. It's a pity, because actually you hit him with a very good left hand in that yeah. last round. That's the best punch you threw. I thought I was, with a bit more experience, I thought I'll, I'll beat him next time. But all due respect to Lloyd, he's a great champion. And when I heard him, he come back and had a go. And, uh, well, he's a great champion, uh, as simple as that. What were your thoughts this morning when they said to you, how do you fancy having a go with Hannigan? Oh, well, brilliant. I mean, it's like, I mean, I didn't have a very long amateur career. And uh, I started boxing as a professional quite early. And I never had the ABAs and the Commonwealth Games and the 
and the Olympics to go for. I mean, this is this is a top, the second top notch you can get into professional. And you just got to uh, grasp these uh, uh, um, opportunities when they come. When they come, right? Let's have a quick word with Dad, Andy. Did you have any trouble making up your mind whether you should put uh, your son in with Hunnigan? Not really, because as I say, he's been sparring with Lloyd, and uh, I knew that Robert would give a good account of himself. But you know, unfortunately, we've just got over a bit of a problem with hand and shoulder. And uh, I'm proud. He fought well. Actually, Hunnigan having won the European title is a very good fighter now, Harry. And tonight, I would say he's world class. And when a boy of this inexperience could go world class, I'm very pleased. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with him. He's learned a lot tonight. This is what the business is all about.